Hey guys, welcome back to Sweet Explainer, today, I am going to explain, 2014 crime, drama, romance and thriller movie could begins with Anna practicing the cello in her room. Just then, her stepfather enters the room and starts forcing himself on Anna. She tries to resist him and pushes him away, but unfortunately her stepfather hits a sharp object that cuts his neck. After some struggle he dies due to blood loss, for the murder of her stepfather, Anna is arrested and taken to the court. She explains to the judge that her stepfather was raping her and pushed him away in self-defense. But her mother speaks against Anna and tells the judge that her husband was a good man. So the judge sends Anna to a juvenile correction facility. Frank, the warden of the prison, introduces himself to the newcomers. After a short briefing, Anna is taken to herself where she meets Jeannie. Jeannie doesn't like to talk much and stays by herself but she feels an attraction to Anna and pleasures herself by watching her, when she is sleeping. The next day, all the prisoners are taken outside to breathe some fresh air. There Anna meets Cody, who warns her about all the problems she can face if she stays by herself. So she offers Anna to join her group, but Anna wants to be left alone and refuses her proposal. Cody again approaches Anna to convince her to join their group in exchange for friendship and protection. But this time she brings her whole gang to intimidate Anna, but still Anna refuses to join them and walks away. Feeling insulted, Cody and her gang take Anna to a room and start beating her. As Anna is injured, she is taken to a doctor for treatment, the doctor recommends and meet Frank who can help her being alone, so Anna innocently goes to meet Frank. She tells him about her wish to be left alone, but Frank wants something in return for her safety. Anna isn't interested in his offer either and goes back to herself, Anna is disgusted by the fact that everyone in the prison wants to get physical with her. Jeannie tries to comfort her and compliments Anna about her beauty. Anna cannot resist Jeannie's advances and get intimate with her. The next day, as Anna and Jeannie were walking around, Killa stops Anna and bullies her. Anna is fed up with this and decides to join Cody's gang. However, Cody wants Anna to prove herself whether she is good for the gang or not, so she asks Anna to beat Killa. Anna agrees and goes straight to Killa and start beating her. Cody is recording the whole fight with her hidden camera, as punishment, Frank sends Anna to solitary naked for 47 hours. Frank threatens Anna that if she doesn't satisfy his needs, he will send her to solitary for a whole month. Left with no choice, Anna gives up Frank's demands and gets physical with him, as Anna has completed Cody's task, she becomes a member of Cody's gang. As a welcoming party, Cody gives Anna some drugs, even Cody cannot resist Anna's beauty and get physical with her. The next day, Anna's mother comes to visit Anna, she still blames Anna for the death of Anna's stepfather and is not willing to accept that he ever raped Anna. As Anna hangs out with her new gang, Killa attacks her, but this time Anna has backup and she goes all out against Killa. Frank calls for Anna and blackmails her with the footage of the fight, that can affect her jail sentence unless of course, she does exactly what he asks. After giving Anna some drugs, Frank gets physical with her. Anna is frustrated by everything and angrily slaps Jeannie, during the checkup one of the guards notices the cut on the lips of Jeannie, so he takes Anna to Frank, but this time he doesn't get physical, as Anna says he rapes her. Frank is upset and threatens Anna to send her to a prison for adults, where she would experience what rape is. Anna rushes to Cody's cell and demands more drugs, Cody expresses her affection to Anna, but Anna is fed up with everything and decides to leave Cody's gang. While walking outside, Anna sees some girls taking drugs, Anna joins them and injects some drugs into her blood. Cody sees this and feels bad for Anna, so she confronts Anna and asks her to stop. But Anna wants to be left alone again, so Cody kicks her out of her group, now that Anna is on her own, Killa along with her gang beats her. Anna has lost it and injects herself with more drugs, she starts taking more drugs daily. While being high, Anna attacks Killa alone, so Frank sends her again to the solitary. Anna is now completely addicted to drugs and heads to get more, but Cody, who still cares for Anna and tries to stop her. Anna threatens to kill herself and all she wants is to be left alone, but the guard stops her in time and she is taken back to the solitary, Without the drugs for days, Anna is losing her mind, she uses a broken piece of the tray to cut her wrists, but the guard saves her in time and is sent for treatment. There she sees more patients, like her who have lost their minds, because of the drugs. One of the patients even lost her life, Anna realizes the mistake she is doing and asks to see her mother. Anna's mother is finally sorry for sending her daughter to prison despite knowing the whole truth, so she promises to free her as soon as possible. After she is fully recovered, she goes to meet with Frank. Anna offers herself to Frank with a condition to keep everyone away from her. Frank wants Anna to participate in a talent show. He even gives Anna her cello and asks her to practice. When Cody learns about this, she cuts Anna's face and asks her gang to beat her up. Anna is done with Frank and decides to tell everything to the doctor, 
but unfortunately Frank is watching everything from one of the cameras and gets her killed by one of the prisoners. At the talent show, Anna impresses everyone with her cello skills. After the show is over, Frank tells Anna that he has scheduled a pro hearing for her. In exchange for that, Frank gets physical with Anna. When Anna tells Jeannie about the offer, she warns Anna not to get too excited so Anna decides to bring down Frank. She asks Cody for her camera so that she can record Frank raping her. Anna goes to meet Frank who wants to get physical with her for the last time. Anna manages to record the act successfully, during the parole hearing, Anna impresses everyone with her answers, but Frank betrays her and asks the members to reject her parole. Anna, however, has a backup plan and shows everyone the video. Frank knows he messed up and tries to delete the video, but it's too late for him and is arrested by the police officer. After witnessing the act, the parole board decides to grant parole to Anna. Anna is now free and bids her goodbye to Jeannie and Cody. After so through so much in life, Anna finally gets a chance to play cello in front of many people and fulfill her dreams. And that's how the movie ends.